Welcome back to the Daily Dean. Why is math and including in that physics so hard to learn, right? Sometimes here, sometimes there, and just in general, right? This this talk stems from this problem I've been having. I'm trying to research some stuff for a superhero and like physics and things like that. And the things that I'm trying to like teach myself and he read and hear is just like all over the place. It's like hard to wrap my head around it and I just get frustrated when I can't reach the numbers or the understanding that I want to. Except for when I do get there, right? And I feel a lot better because, you know, originally I'd feel stupid like, oh my god, why am I not getting this? And then somebody else explains it a different way because I find a video and I'm like, oh, that makes more sense. Thank you, bro. And that comes from that. that that's a sentiment I want to share with you, right? There, There is this idea that if you don't get something right the first time or you don't understand something for the first time, then you're stupid. I don't like that idea. I hate the S word, stupid, right? Because first of all, the things that I was trying to learn was like, what is what is a Newton, right? The, you know, a word we've probably all heard before, uh, If uh, especially in like eighth grade science. Uh, that was something we went over. And our, science, our teacher explained it like, oh, a Newton is mass times acceleration due to gravity. And I was like, oh, I'll memorize that, but I don't know what it means, right? And like for two years now, well, maybe going a little longer than two years, it's been kind of tough like thinking, oh, what really does that mean? Until I found this video and uh, a couple other videos that I've been researching and I finally, it finally clicked, right? For two years, I've just memorized the formula for whatever the heck a Newton is and only now have I realized what that actually means. And I just want to... Like, two years is a long time in my life, in my lifespan, probably in yours too, right? Like, two years in general of just knowing something without actually understanding what it means is an understandably, you know, long span of time. So, finding these videos were a godsend, right? Being able to see, oh, that makes more sense, bro. And, um, it's just a matter of explaining it differently, right? That teacher had, you know, good intentions when he was explaining those things. He was like, oh, well, it's the force that somebody exerts on Earth. And I was like, uh, that doesn't really help me, bro. But then this other dude explained it differently. And I was like, oh, that, that makes sense, man. So, basically, if you don't get something the first time, it's about hearing it a different way. And that doesn't make you stupid. It's just a matter of time until you find the right explanation, maybe real world, exam real world examples and stuff that help you get to where you want to be. Because I've shared this sentiment before, it, and also this is kind of a new story. A person, I, I, I heard, like a friend, right? They said like they have trouble learning these things until they get real world examples. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So what if you, you know, uh, what if you imagine like this is that and this is that right and it's just It's just that you know if we explain things in very abstract ways that are hard to wrap our heads around right That is naturally a hard thing to try and memorize and learn for some people and If you do get it good work, you know nice nice man like nice, nice job man but you know if you don't I want you to seek out help or outside sources or tutoring or other people who can help explain it a different way than a teacher might, than an adult might, a parent might, family might, right? Because lots of people think, oh, they have the best of intentions, right? But they may not have the explanation that you need, okay? If you need a different explanation, seek that out. Find it on YouTube, find it on the internet, because the internet is crazy, right? I learned this stuff on the internet because, like, God, it is dope, right? So much awesome content that I can, like, learn to apply to my superheroes and stuff, which is actually a separate video I'm going to be making about, like, physics and stuff. But, like, um, just that, right? Uh, the video about, like, if you want to learn about physics, uh, I found this one channel that explains, like, oh, what is a Newton, what is a Joule, what is a Watt, and other things like that that help me understand it, so... I'm going to share that with you down below. You should check it out. I can't remember the name right now, but in general, it's just cool channel. And um, don't feel stupid for taking a little while to get somewhere because their explanation may not just be clicking and you need a different way of learning it. So don't give up if you need to learn something, right? Um, that's basically it. So thank you. Bye.